Hello Trader Tix here and today we're going to cover another free airdrop, it's on testnet, we're talking about Prism and this video is going to be a full airdrop tutorial. Step number one is the Kepler wallet, if you don't have the Kepler wallet you have to go and install it, link in the description and just install the Kepler wallet, create one, save your seed uh, phrase on two places so you don't lose it and after that open your Kepler wallet and you need to add the Prism network. Navigate yourself into the upper left corner, manage chain visibility and here just write Prism and you have to add the network and then save. After that, step number two is the actual fault set. You need some test uh, money in order to uh, go over the next steps. So you need to use the fault set as the first step. Go in your Kepler wallet, press deposit search for Prism and copy your address, then paste your address here. I'm not a robot request. Well, I'm, I cannot request now because um, I already have done that step. There is a link in the description which is leading towards the first set. So I'll put all the links in the description together with the steps. So no worries. Step number three is the swap. So here you have to connect your wallet, choose Prism and after that you have to do some uh, some swaps. There are many tokens here, I'm using USD SIM and you can, do, you can do swaps every day. The name of the game here is Spam, so you have to uh, spam the swaps, right? It's, it's, it's testnet. The more transactions you record, the better. Also make sure to obtain some Atom as well. After you're done with the swaps, you are ready for the next step, which is step number four, I believe. And here we have to use the pools and add some liquidity. You can choose the token you have to get with Prism and add some liquidity. Of course, you first you have to connect the wallet. That's why there are no amounts here yet. So connect your wallet here and then choose some, some amount and add li and provide liquidity. Click provide liquidity, sign into the wallet and pretty much that's it. Moving on to the next step, which are the bonds. Again, link in the description. For this one, you need some atoms. So if you haven't yet obtained some atom, go back to the swaps and obtain some atom. After that, connect your wallet again here. Press max amount, whatever, accept the bond, uh, press approve the transaction. Well, you have to wait a few seconds and your bond is accepted. And that was step number five. Step number six, again, link in the description. Go connect your wallet here. And here we have to do some staking. So select the token you want to stake, uh, the amount, of course, confirm. The wallet is going to pop up, approve the transaction. And after some time, don't forget to go and uh, claim, your, <laughs> claim your rewards. Press claim, well, the amount is not big, but it's still a transaction on the network. So it gives points for the eventual airdrop. Scrolling down, you can see your positions, etc., etc. And you also need to delegate uh, coins in order to participate in the governance. <clears throat> We're done with that step. We're moving to step number seven. So here, choose a token. In most cases, it's going to be uh, Prism, but I don't have because I already used everything for today. Place amount, choose token to buy. In this case, it's going to be Prism for me. In your case, it might be USD SIM. In the pulse interval here, you can go for one hour or you can choose minutes and go for 30 minutes, for example. Here we can use four because we don't have more uh, tokens. And after that, press create. You have to also approve the transaction here. And that's uh, step number step number seven. Step number eight is obviously participate in the governance. And in order to participate in the governance, you have to already have a stake on the, on the network. In addition, I have two more steps. Step number nine is Zili. Go Zili. There, there is a link in the description. Follow them on Twitter and then follow those steps. There are seven steps. Just do them for additional, uh, for additional points. As you can see, the steps are very simple. They're all rela social uh, platform related. So it's like five minutes of work. Besides all that, the actual activity on the testnet, you have uh, another step which you can do if you don't want to spam positions and, you know, uh, claim presence on the network doing the testnet activities. Step number 10 is related to the Cosmos ecosystem uh, step. Staking. You can stake Atom, Osmo, Tia and also inject if I believe and the stakers of those tokens will uh, qualify for the Prism airdrop as well. But you have to stake with Prism validator. What I mean is that, for example, if you want to stake Injective as validator, you have to find the Prism one. 
and delegate with the prism uh, validator in order to qualify for the airdrop so step number 10 is pretty much the easy step just stake to get exposure of the prism airdrop that's it with this video i hope you like it the daily time allocation for this uh, airdrop is like no more than five minutes so you can do it every day or every second then depending on your um, time and your airdrop rotation thanks for watching if you like such content make sure to subscribe if you have questions use the comment section don't forget to follow me on twitter at trader and i'll see you with the next one